and iHeart Radio station. Brian Suits filling in from KFI in Los Angeles uh, today and tomorrow. And you can reach me on the Twitter machine at Dark Secret Place. That's, um, that's the best way is if you're on Twitter at Dark Secret Place, which is the name of my show. Um, and that's uh, on Twitter. But if you really, 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 really feel the need to uh, communicate with me privately, then you can use Proton Mail, and that address is Dark Secret Place at protonmail.com. It's based in Switzerland, so it's slightly chocolatey, but it is encrypted, and the server server in Switzerland. So uh, Proton Mail, P R O T O N M A I L. Um, I, I thought I would mention this because it, it's, um, <clears throat> it's something that, um, a lot of, a lot of you parents really kind of have no, no clue on. Uh, but uh, have you noticed that your kids use YouTube as a channel? They, like, like my daughter watches almost no TV unless it's something we're watching, unless it's the Seahawks. Because we're from there, we're from the northwest, and uh, but otherwise, uh, unless it's um, maybe some breaking news that she knows I'm interested in, so she wants to see what I'm watching. But otherwise, she's on YouTube, and her channels are people. Her 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 the people that she follows are uh, there's two guys that do basically a two man chat show called Good Mythical Morning, and. I, I'm not that entertained by it, but I can see why a lot of people are. And these are guys who have like 12 million subscribers. And now here's the deal. Um, things like that are really freaking out Hollywood and TV because in, uh, in Hollywood, for instance, they're going to reboot Roseanne, right? And they're anticipating that the first episode of the, of the return of Roseanne should probably win that night. And by winning the night, you know, 20 years ago, winning the night meant you got 20 or 25 million viewers out of back then a nation of, you know, 270 million or whatever. Nowadays, winning the night on broadcast TV means about 8, 9, 10 million because of what? Amazon, Roku, uh, Google TV, which is what I have, and Roku, all these things. So for my daughter's generation, the TV is YouTube. Well, there's these guys. One of them is named Jake Paul. He's uh, the older brother. No, he, no, he's not. He's the younger brother. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and he was on a Disney show called Bizarre Vark or something, but what he really did was start a YouTube channel just kind of showing the adventures of Jake Paul. And four years later, five years later, he's moved to Los Angeles. He has a $7 million mansion. He literally off YouTube makes about 4 million bucks per month on, on his merchandise. He sells socks for Christmas and he sells T-shirts that you flip up like a soccer player inside out over your head, and and his face is on the inside of the T-shirt. You're right. Stupid crap. But that's what YouTube, YouTube should be called stupid crap, too. I mean, whatever. Somebody eating a raw egg. It's on there. You know, a cat playing piano. I mean, that that's what YouTube is. And these two brothers, <clears throat> Jake and Logan, are raking in that much money per month on YouTube. Well, the, the one brother, Logan, he went to Japan, uh, or he's still in Japan, I guess. Um, and here's the deal. In Japan, at the foot of Mount Suji, Fuji, in one particular stretch of forest between uh, Tokyo and Mount Fuji, uh, to the north, is called the Suicide Forest. And it's because years ago... Uh, a famous Japanese poet wrote about the forest and a character killing themselves there. So ever since then, it's had this cachet that if you are a depressed Japanese person, you go kill yourself in this forest. There's a documentary. I believe there's a documentary just called The Forest. And it's about this. It's about this phenomenon that 
I mean, there was about a guy, a retired man who makes it his business to walk through the forest every day, and if he finds a dead person, to take care of them, lay them out respectfully, call police, you know, and all that, right? <clears throat> so um, one of these Logan brothers, Paul Logan, is, is in Japan, and he's doing all these YouTube uploads, all of his vlogs, his video blogs, and they're... The stated goal was to go and walk through the haunted forest. Because now, of course, it's said to be haunted because so many people have taken their lives there. So he's just going to do a walk through of the haunted forest. And they come across a dead guy. And it's not a hoax. They come across a male in his mid to late 20s. And he's chosen to do himself in in a, in a pretty gnarly way. He basically put a loop of rope around a low-hanging branch of a tree uh, or, or some, uh, like a, something almost man-made looking. It looks like a two-by-four and some other stuff. But he, he um, found something that would bear his weight, and he put the rope around his neck, and then uh, up on his tippy toes or something, he, he pulled the rope and put it over a branch or a post, and he just hung himself. He strangled himself. Because I mean, hanging, a hanging means your neck has been broken. I mean, that's, you know, it's like that. If it's done right, it, it should be instantaneous. This, the guy strangled himself and he's fully clothed and he has a cell phone and stuff in his pocket. But so anyway, these guys come across the dead guy. Um, they pulled the video off of YouTube, but you can still find it on TMZ and, and some other things. Um, the guy is shocked. He's clearly obviously shocked and as they get kind of desensitized to the dead guy, they actually start goofing around. And at one point, he fakes like he's crying. Well, anyway, the, the kids watch this stuff. I mean, my daughter watches these guys. And they took the video down really quickly. But there are people, there's celebrities and others. And, and they've been, by the way, they have a lot of pull with YouTube. Celebrities will say, I'll take my channel down. And, and for, if, if these guys make four million a month, do you know how much Google makes off of, uh, that same channel on YouTube? They, they make 10 million. Cause Google, I know this personally, cause I've, my monetized YouTube channel is unsheepyourself.com. Like, you're a sheep and you don't want to be a sheep. Unsheepyourself.com is my YouTube channel. And I'm, and I'm learning the hard way, uh, how bent over I am for, uh, for Google. So, so anyway, they're calling for the, for this guy to have his, his channel taken down. So t t today, this is what a this is what a goof-tastic moron he is. He put up a apology um, from his hotel room in Japan, and he actually apologized to the entire internet. That means you, me, everybody. So uh, here is um, Paul Logan apologizing to absolutely everybody on earth. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. And I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned. And the reactions you saw on tape were raw. They were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I want to apologize to the internet. I want to <laughs> apologize to anyone who's seen the video. I want to apologize to anyone who has been affected or touched by mental illness or depression or suicide. But most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. Um, the goal with my content is always to entertain, to push the boundaries, to be all inclusive. In the world I live in, I share almost yeah. everything I do. So you, you, get the, you get the point. And you, you heard you heard the phrase it pays. I apologize to the internet. I love how he, he starts by saying, "I've made uh, what does he say a, con, a severe and continuous mistake." Can he can he just play the very beginning again? Or do you have to re -cue it? I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. 
There you go. <laughs> Severe and continuous lap, lapse in my judgment. So that means, you know what? Anything might happen next. But uh, that is that is what your kids are watching. And um, I monitor what my daughter watches before she, she subscribes to these guys. I always look and see what it is. And if it's someone like dressing up trolls or whatever, my daughter's eight. You know, I, I, I don't mind that. Animal videos, you know, doc, she likes watching documentaries on whales and all that. But she did watch these guys, these idiots. Um, Paul Logan and his brother Jake. Uh, and so, uh, and then by the way, I'll, I'll say for the guy's credit, I mean, this is a 22 year old guy who, um, they go from Ohio to Los Angeles making, he and his brother making millions per month, per month, just because your kids, including college kids, will watch these guys every single day do things like, hey, yo, 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 we just got a new golf cart, and they got a lift kit, so we're going to try to roll it. And this is what has people in Hollywood hitting their heads on desks saying, why didn't we think of that? They roll a golf cart show. Well, they're doing it. And millions of people per day are watching their videos. Um, and so, and, and my prediction, by the way, he's not going to have his channel taken off of YouTube. YouTube likes money. Google likes money. They're big fans of money. No matter what Sergey Brin and the other guy, Larry Dries, whatever his name is, the uh, the other founder of Google, no matter what they say, their corporate slogans, don't be evil, Google is evil. Google is big brother. Google loves money. They love themselves, and they love money. That's why they're in China. That's the only way they can get in China is if they let the government there control content. So instead of taking a stand and, you know, not be evil – uh, they're working in China. So, hell no. Uh, the, it's not like, by the way, it's not like the guy staged a suicide or a murder or whatever. They were in that forest and they came upon someone who committed suicide. It's just that it, when he was goofing on it, he looked stupid. So, I don't subscribe to him. But uh, that is the, your future of entertainment. Uh, we'll be back right after this. It is American Now. Buck is on vacation. Brian suits in for Buck Sexton on American Now. A fresh new year has begun, and if you're setting new goals for your business, it's extremely difficult to reach them without the right people on your team. And ZipRecruiter has transformed how you go about finding them. ZipRecruiter posts your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just one click. Then, ZipRecruiter actively looks for the most qualified candidates and invites them to apply. Unlike other hiring sites, ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you. It finds them. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes and industries to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now, Bucks listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Buck. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Buck. One more time to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Buck. <laughs> Hey team, how would you like to get a box delivered to your front door with the coolest tactical gear you could possibly find anywhere and have it all curated for you by veterans of the special operations community? Well, now you can with Crate Club. I'm a Crate Club member, and let me tell you, I love getting my delivery each month. It has all kinds of cool stuff in there. You never know what you're going to get. Medical kits. Ballistic inserts, custom knives, multi-tools. We've got holidays coming up here. It's a great time to treat yourself or set up a friend or family member with a subscription. This is a veteran-owned, operated, and started company. You should check it out for yourself. And right now, you can get 15% off with promo code BUCKSHOT. That's 15% off promo code BUCKSHOT. Just go to CrateClub.us. That's CrateClub.us. Gift options as well. Promo code BUCKSHOT for 15% off. Message and data rates may apply. Do you feel like you're in control of your future? If not, Arizona State University can help. Earning a degree can open doors to new opportunities. And with ASU Online, you can earn a degree that employers respect without having to disrupt your life. You'll learn from the same campus-based faculty and get the same world-class education as campus-based students. From wherever life needs you to be. 
Find out why U.S. News & World Report ranks ASU in the top 1% in the nation for online bachelor's degrees. Text STUDY to 37913. Through continued research and innovation, every ASU online course has been designed to ensure student success. It's one of the reasons Arizona State University was named number one for innovation, ahead of Stanford and MIT for a third year in a row. So take control of your future today by earning a world-class education from one of the nation's top universities. For more information, text STUDY to 37913. Here's the iHeartRadio Top Trending Songs Now. It's moving its way up the chart at number five this week. It's Post Malone featuring 21 Savage, Rockstar. These guys are just making anthems left and right. It's Imagine Dragons with Thunder at number four. Holding on strong in the number three spot, it's Halsey with Bad at Love. Get ready for this one at all the weddings this year. Perfect from Ed Sheeran is at number two. And finally, the top trending song of the week, still at number one, Camila Cabello featuring Young Thug, Havana. And that's your iHeartRadio top trending songs now. Hear them all on iHeartRadio. Nobody's understanding what went on behind the scenes here. I am telling you that I have known Mo Brooks since 1990. When I endorsed Mo Brooks, he would have won by 20-some-odd points. Mitch McConnell did not want Mo Brooks to be the senator from Alabama. They poured millions into the state, smearing, slandering, and supporting the establishment candidate. Sean Hannity, weekdays at noon on The Patriots. AM 1150. Deanna's on Twitter. Do debit cards have the same protection as credit cards when making online purchases? For purposes of fraud, 100%. Yes, they're exactly the same protection. If you read Visa or MasterCard's website, they have a zero liability policy in the event of theft or fraud. Whether it's a credit card or a debit card, you are liable for zero. The Dave Ramsey Show. Weekdays at 3 on The Patriot. AM 1150. You're listening to The Patriot. AM 1150. Welcome back to America Now. Buck Sexton's on vacation. Brian Suits filling in for Buck. And uh, believe it or not, uh, the former Obama leg humpers, everyone who was on Team Obama are warning Trump to back off or reconsider supporting the Iranian protesters. And I know I'm not quite sure what they think their point is, uh, but then again, in, in 2009, uh, when, <clears throat> as, as I said uh, last hour, as the protests in 2009 erupted, it was the Obama administration who saw the two sides the side with guns and, and evil on their side, and then people calling for freedom, and they picked a side. By neutrality in the face of murder is picking a side, by the way. In case, in case your moral compass is, uh, needs, needs a, a realignment or a boxing, as they say, uh, let me just remind you that neutrality in the face of murder is taking a side. And so the Obama administration in 2009 said, well, we're calling on all sides to end the violence. <laughs> like, well, only the one side has tanks. What, what, what are you saying? And then also because we know that the Obama, Obama administration was preparing to do absolutely anything to, to be able to <clears throat> hold up a so-called nuclear deal with, with uh, Iran, which they still do to this day, no matter how flawed that thing was. And because nobody in the Obama administration had ever apparently negotiated for anything as much as a used car, they gave up all their leverage immediately. They, they, uh, repatriated the Iranian money back to them that we had every international legal right to hang on to because we had outstanding claims against the regime. And the Iranians at the end said, okay, um, we will limit our nuclear program. 
we will not allow foreign inspectors. We will inspect our compliance. We will report on our own compliance. And here's the schedule that we will do it. So when, when you hear Swiss authorities saying that the Iranians are in compliance, that's what compliance means. They're just reporting that all's well. <laughs> They're saying, no, you can't go down there. This has been negotiated, but we're just here to report all's well. And at the very end, they said, and we're not signing this unless we get that money repatriated first. Not understanding how leverage works, the Obama administration was so fixed on that treaty and being able to wave that around and say, look what the Obama unclenched fist foreign policy has done. They wanted that so badly that they have thrown an entire nation of people, 90 million people, right back at the Obama bus. Because they handed that money, they repatriated that Iranian money back to them, hundreds of billions, and what do you think they did? The Revolutionary Guards, the Paz Duran, they took their cut. They got new boats, new jets, they got new guns, new riot gear. Well, of course, in Iran, you know, we call it riot police. You know, the police aren't rioting, though, but we call it riot police. They call it anti-riot police, which is more accurate. Uh, but then again, they're a lot more active. And so the shot in the arm, uh, r- right at a time when anyone else depended on petrodollars, was tripping. Um, from Russia to Riyadh, you know, they have seen the effect of fracking. Um, they don't like it. It has take, They have taken a hit in their national treasuries. Suddenly the Iranians get this shot in the arm. Does anyone else, does anyone actually really think that they stopped developing missiles? No. It actually had funded more development of their missiles against UN resolutions, but who cares? That wasn't part of the negotiation. That's what John Kerry, you know, admitted. He said, well, no, we're just, we're just focusing on the one thing. We're just making sure that the nuclear research ends uh, for at least 10 years. And they did not say at the, at the last second, a negotiator would have said, oh, before we repatriate this money, can you halt your missile development immediately? Uh, we didn't, though. In fact, we went out of our way. Obama went out of his way to specify that this is just about the nuclear stuff. So, of course... They're telling Trump to back off. Um, uh, this is what I am reading. Uh, well, 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 as soon as President Trump makes any move that puts America first over Iran, Obama's Iran first shills come kicking and screaming uh, in protest. Several key advisors, this is according to Breitbart, several key advisors to former President Barack Obama have poured scorn on President Donald Trump's support. Uh, in 2009, when the Green Revolution threatened the Iranian regime, Obama and his administration refrained from supporting the protests. Obama said that, quote, we respect Iranian sovereignty and want to avoid the United States being the issue inside of Iran. Close quote. So anyway, they're, they're reacting to Trump's tweets about the great Iranian people, uh, and those, are, those were his words, um, and the Iranian regime, and then uh, we uh, played for you. The uh, Sarah Huckabee Stan- uh, Sanders uh, statement today at the White House presser about uh, Iranian uh, protests and the Iranian people, uh, she pointed out that even Hillary Clinton, um, when she was Secretary of State in 2009, uh, had, had talked about Iranian freedom uh, and uh, et cetera. Anyway, more on this also. Senator Mitt Romney, that and more coming up. Brian Seed's filling in for Buck Sexton. You've got America now. Now is the time to start on your path to success, and we've got the tools to get you there. The Associate Degree for Transfer program paves the way to get you earning your bachelor's degree in the quickest way possible. Through the program, you're placed on a direct path to your future. Start at a California community college, transfer to a safe spot at a CSU campus, earn your degree, and dream future? Here you come. Start on your path today. Visit a degree with a guarantee.com. Brought to you by the California Community Colleges and California State University Systems. <laughs> Fox News Radio, I'm Jill Nato. At least a dozen people across the U.S. dead from the current brutal cold snap, which looks like it's going to continue. Wind chill advisories blanket areas from Texas to Canada. The National Weather Service tweeted, Arctic air mass will bring a prolonged period of much below normal temperatures and dangerously cold wind chills to the central and eastern U.S. over the next week. 
temperatures Tuesday range from negative 9 in Rapid City to 25 in New Orleans. That's Fox's Brian Yenis. President Trump sending a warning to North Korea's Kim Jong-un, who said this week he's got a nuclear button on his desk. The president tweeting, will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a nuclear button, but it is much bigger and more powerful one than his. Fox News, we report, you decide. 2018 is not just a new year. It's also an opportunity to grow your business with top talent. But how do you find it? ZipRecruiter. One click sends your job ad to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there. Their smart matching technology will instantly alert quality candidates about your job. That means you'll start getting great candidates with the right experience almost as soon as your job is posted. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. This is how you find them. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. People from businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you better results than anywhere else. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just click the banner now or go to ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. Deal with your crazy liberal leftist relatives around the Thanksgiving Day dinner without killing each other, without having a stuffing war. Or a mashed, mashed potato war would be funny, you know. Know, or or maybe take a little cranberry sauce and throw on that sucker across the wall or turkey legs flying. You know, here, you'll be sitting across from a PETA member and say, hey, you want the wing? Fly it on over to the for that dinner. Sean Hannity, weekdays at noon on The Patriot, AM 1150. Everything I'm telling you to do, I have either done or would do if I woke up in your shoes. Because I want to always be consistent to not ask you to do or tell you to do or give you advice to do something that I wouldn't do. If I were in your exact place in that situation, how would I handle that situation if I could talk to the Dave who didn't know what the Dave now knows? The Dave Ramsey Show. Weekdays at 3 on The Patriot. AM 1150. A young person, a millennial, they've just not had anybody on our side actually reaching out to them and saying, I know who you are. You're not who everybody says you are. I know who you are. You are the hero generation. But it's slipping through our fingers every time we betray our values by living something differently than what we say is important. The Glenn Beck Program, weekday mornings at 6, on The Patriot, AM 1150. Trump is not going to just sit and let some people trash all over him. He doesn't care who it is. It could be McCain, it could be Corker. This is what pushing back looks like. Trump pushing back, I think, continues to offer a solution for others. Imagine if there were more than just Trump pushing back against these people on the left. It would be uh, a beautiful thing. Rush Limbaugh. Weekday mornings at 9 on The Patriot, AM 1150. Hashtag. your own station. Go to Patriot.LA and download it now. And never miss a Rushism, Hannity, Beck, a local story, or anything KEIV has to say. Download it now. The iHeartRadio app for your smartphone. And Heart KEIV wherever you go. You're listening to The Patriot, AM 1150. <laughs> Holding the line for America. Buck Sexton is back. Hey, welcome back. It is America Now. Buck Sexton is on vacation. He'll be back in a uh, few days. Brian Suits here from KFI in Los Angeles, uh, where my home base, where I am the host of the Dark Secret Place, um, a, uh, the America's premier radio show on the world melting down. And uh, business has been uh, pretty Pretty good lately. Chaos is my business, and business is, is good. 
You can follow me at Dark Secret Place on Twitter, at Dark Secret Place, one word, on Twitter. And then um, next week, remember this guy named Jay Leno. Uh, he was a talk show host of some note for many, many years. He has a show now called Leno's Garage, and he features different, you know, classic old cars or sometimes new technology. Uh, so anyway, I did an episode with him, and it is going to be next Thursday on January 11th on CNBC, Thursday the 11th. And what we did was <clears throat> he had access to this uh, experimental army vehicle. And then the vehicle might have many, many, many uses, but the, the point is it doesn't use internal combustion. And I don't want to give away too much on, on the episode, but we had a, a, a test bed. We had a test vehicle from Detroit, and they brought it out to the mountains north of Los Angeles, where I, where I live, in my super secret uh, lair. And uh, Jay Leno had me come along with him because he, he knows me from, from the radio here in L.A., and he knows I'm an Army guy, a former cavalry scout, and so we took the vehicle up in the mountains to see how it would do as a reconnaissance vehicle or a combat vehicle. And so that episode is going to be next Thursday, January 11th, and then, and then, oh, by the way, <clears throat> we're, we, we have witty banter. He's a funny guy. He is a very, very, very funny guy. He can, if he wants, he can drink water funny. Uh, I cannot. I can do a spit take, but I can't drink it funny. I can have it come out funny, just not uh, in funny. 844-900-BUCK, 844-900-BUCK. Get on the phone, get on the air. Um, the next battleground for the GOP just might be... Utah, and I'll tell you why that's an uphill battle for Steve Bannon, uh, because his next target is possibly going to be Mitt Romney. The, you know, as we all recall in 2015 and 16, Mitt Romney doesn't like Trump. Mitt Romney had that press conference where there was speculation, as you recall, that he would make a late announcement that he was getting in the presidential race. But he held a, a press conference just to denounce Trump and to say that Donald Trump is crass and rude and uh, naive um, and that, in fact, he's not even that good of a real estate mogul. He's not worth what he claims he is. You know, and he, he went down his the, the financial track record. Um, and it, my sense of it was that if you liked Romney beforehand, you probably were there for the message. If you didn't like him before, you didn't like him after that. But he he went down the list of publicly available information, stating accurately that Trump has not had a bank loan from an American bank since 2000, that he has um, screwed his investors out of their money by declaring bankruptcy and not putting his money into things, but putting his name on things and some of the shady dealings with shady people, the whole thing. I mean, he basically was attacking Trump from character to checkbook um, to public persona, you know, and, and he wrapped it up and said, look, this is a reality TV guy. He should not be the Republican nominee. Then I think about 10 minutes later, that was totally forgotten. It, I don't think it made any impact. <clears throat> so, but he, he pulled it out and he laid it on the table. I don't like you, Trump. But then after Trump was elected, r recall back in December of last year, there was that, you know, president-elect period where we saw that parade of people from November 8th on going to Trump Tower. And one of the people going to Trump Tower out for dinner, apparently whatever they had escargot, they had snails or something like that, was Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney came to New York and evidently buried the hatchet or something with Trump. Um, there, there was speculation that Trump was, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. He was maybe going to offer an ambassadorship to Mitt Romney or, or something, but that didn't pan out. However, Orrin Hatch has announced that he will not seek re-election this year. Um, Bloomberg reported in October that uh, Steve Bannon was planning to play in almost every Republican Senate primary contest. Uh, a, a couple of Breitbart news, uh, news chiefs would be targets would be Bob Corker, the Republican from Tennessee, Jeff Flake, uh, who is not running again. He, he claims that he uh, will not run for re-election in Arizona, and he's in single-digit approval there. Um, the race to succeed Hatch in Utah could be could represent an irresistible challenge 
for Steve Bannon, especially if Mitt Romney runs. Bannon hates Mitt Romney. He wants to destroy Mitt Romney. But here's the deal. Any, any smear of Bannon on you, the candidate in Utah, is probably going to be uh, a handicap because Utah did not vote overwhelmingly for Trump. It was not like, you know, Texas. It wasn't like Alabama and, uh, and Georgia where Trump won by, you know, 20 points or something. In fact, the, the one guy who probably was the most high-profile write-in candidate, Evan McMullen, uh, is based in Utah. He's a, he's a Mormon. He's a Utahn, uh, as they say, and he got a lot of votes. He, he didn't win Utah, I, I don't believe, but he had like double digits as a write-in. So Utah is not a big fan of anyone that Bannon is going to back. Mitt Romney, he's a Mormon. He was governor of Massachusetts. Could he just land in Utah? Well, yeah, you can. And you're not considered a carpetbagger if you land in Utah and say, I'm going to be your senator. Um, a cert- he, has, he certainly has more connection to Utah than Hillary did with New York before she just moved there and became their senator. Uh, being Mormon, by the way, is your number one requirement if you're running for elected office in Utah. Uh, I lived in Salt Lake City for two years. And I can tell you this, without reservation, I can tell you it was a phenomenal place to live. The scenery was unmatched. The winters were great, nice, beautiful, dry snow. Alta, you could, I used to go to, I lived at the foot of Alta snow, um, snow resort and, and it would, this, this, the uh, chairlift was at 11,000 feet. The top of the chairlift was 11,000 feet. Anywho, um, but this I know. I was a, I was a single non-Mormon. Me and my, I did a, did a morning show with a partner. He was also a single non-Mormon. We were the two loneliest guys in Salt Lake City. Single non-Mormons. I mean, you know, just for convenience sake, we went gay for a couple months. No, we didn't though. We would have been good though. We would have been really good. Uh, because it, it, because in Utah, there's no bars. There's private club for members only. And so you, you don't do the normal thing. You don't say, hey, Let's meet tonight at TGI Fridays, whatever, or that really cool Irish bar or whatever. They don't have those in Salt Lake. They have, they have structures, and inside those structures, there are uh, very, very large rooms that are either dimly lit or well lit, and they have long serving tables called bars, but you have to be a member to get in. So you basically pay a cover. Um, and so Utah's not built for non-Mormons. It's also... A very, very welcoming place. I never locked my car. I never locked my front door. I, I liked that. I really, really liked it. As a family guy, non-Mormon, I would I would move my family there because it's a great place. But if you're going to run for office, you damn well better be Mormon. Governor, Mayor of Salt Lake. But actually, the mayor of Salt Lake is the, the one place in the entire state of Utah where you can be a liberal Democrat is the mayor of Salt Lake. That's it. There's not, no, you can't be a, a congressman, congresswoman. You know, Mia Love, that uh, Republican and African-American female, she's from north of Salt Lake. She's from Ogden. Um, and that is the, the minimum entry requirement to hold elected office or represent Utah is that you got to be Mormon. Well, Romney, of course, famously Mormon. He's a Massachusetts Mormon, like former quarterback Steve Young. Um, Romney went to the Missionary Training Institute, the MTI, for his language training before his his uh, mission. He did a mission for the church, for the LDS church, like all young men do, did a three-year mission. He is a Mormon in good standing, which also means uh, it's also a big deal. And he's not Steve Bannon, and he's not Donald Trump, and he went on the record against Trump, and that means a lot in Utah. To be a Mormon in good standing, by the way, it means you, you literally have a card called a Temple Recommend. And there's a department store in downtown Salt Lake called ZCMI. And if you are going to go do a mission, that's where you buy your mission suit. You know, it's like made of iron, apparently, because it'll wear anywhere, Australia, Peru, whatever. Um, And then, of course, there are garments. You have to wear garments underneath everything. Even under your underwear, you wear garments. 
And to buy, you have to be in good standing. You have to present your card to buy them. Yeah, you can't just walk in and go, yeah, I'm going to get those as a goof. No, they take that stuff very seriously. And they do not like outsiders coming there telling Utah how to think. And so Steve Bannon, if he thinks that this is going to be a Judge Roy Moore deal in Alabama, and that he's going to get off the plane and start lecturing people in Utah all about what being a Republican means, Sorry, people in Utah know exactly what being a Republican means. It means Orrin Hatch, and it means longtime Senator Jake Garn, and it, it, it means uh, Chaffetz. But he resigned mysteriously earlier this year also. But uh, in Utah, it means self-reliance. It means taking responsibility. It means firearms. Uh, it means defending yourself, providing for yourself. That's what Republican, that was a Republican values, and the people in Utah have them. So I would love to see Steve Bannon do an open mic, do one of his, you know, do one of his live pep talks there in uh, in Utah. Uh, all right, we'll be back in just a second. Uh, some quick sports talk, you know, just for those of you in Alabama and Georgia, because the other 48 states couldn't care less about what happens next Monday night. I got news for you. Uh, also, your calls, 844-900-BUCK, 844-900-BUCK. Uh, your calls on North Korea, your calls on Mitt Romney back in government. Uh, what, what, just what is his game? Uh, also your calls on Iran, uh, or Trump versus Obama policy, that and more. It is Brian Suits filling in for Buck Sexton on America Now. <laughs> kitchen remodel coming along? Uh, I haven't found a reliable contractor and have no idea where to start. What about Home Advisor? Uh, home what? Home Advisor. They match you to pre-screened and top-rated pros for any kind of home project. You can even check pricing and book appointments online. What's the catch? No catch. Home Advisor is completely free to use. Really? I'll check it out. Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app. Home Advisor. Untuck It shirts make you look great. Designed at the perfect length. Not too long, not too short. Untuck It makes shirts for you to wear untucked. Shirts so well made, GQ calls them perfection. Incredible comfort and fantastic style come together in one amazing shirt. Patterns from casual to semi-formal for men and now women too. See the new holiday styles at untuckit.com. Use the promo code AMAZING for 20% savings. Untuckit.com. Promo code AMAZING for 20% savings. That's untuckit.com. Offer not valid in all states or where prohibited by law. Loans are subject to lender approval. See website for details. Need some extra cash today? Do you have bad credit or maxed out credit cards? If so, turn your radio up. 45cash.com is one of the nation's largest personal loan networks with over 50 different lenders. Now you can get a personal loan for up to $5,000 with any type of credit discreetly from your computer or smartphone and with no paperwork to send in. That's right. No paperwork whatsoever. Your cash will hit your bank account as soon as tomorrow as our lenders have millions of dollars to lend, regardless of your credit history. Just have a checking account and a regular source of income. Go to 45cash.com and you can get the loan you need now, regardless of your credit. Go to 45cash.com from your smartphone or computer to get the cash you need. Visit 45cash.com. Type www.45cash.com directly into the address bar. That's 45cash.com. 45cash.com. 2018 is not just a new year. It's also an opportunity to grow your business with top talent. But how do you find it? ZipRecruiter. One click sends your job ad to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there. Their smart matching technology will instantly alert quality candidates about your job. That means you'll start getting great candidates with the right experience almost as soon as your job is posted. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. This is how you find them. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. People from businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you better results than anywhere else. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just click the banner now or go to ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. The Starlight Lounge presents an evening with the progressive box. Oh, what a great audience. Let's dim the lights for this next one. Nope, too much. 
Ah, there it is. Got to get things just right. Like Progressive's Name Your Price tool. Tell us what you want to pay, and we help you find coverage options that fit your budget. And now, the mood is right. Wait, the lights are back on again. Trudy, can you? And now it's completely dark. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. This age where the Internet has never been regulated. It's completely free. Tell me how horrible the Internet is. It has made many people very wealthy, unlike the world has ever seen. What are we doing? Government. Get the hell away from something that works. The Glenn Beck Program, weekday mornings at 6, on the Patriot, AM 1150. America now with Buck Sexton. Buck's on vacation. Brian Suits filling in for Buck today and tomorrow. And the first battle of 2018 looks like it's going to be over the dreamers, the the kids. If I hear the phrase through no fault of their own one one more time, I'm going to project a vomit. But uh, in every single explanation of the deferred action on childhood arrival, <clears throat> um. They have to say, now these are kids whose parents came here without documents and uh, through no fault of their own, they are illegal. And by and large, when you poll Americans about kids in that situation and you don't use the term dreamer or whatever, um, you, you get a, a very a charitable attitude towards them. You know, I, I think of all the people who need to fill a bus and go back to their country of origin, you know, the, the, the guys like the guy that killed Kate Steinle and all that, they, they, they need the front row. Fill all those buses. And, you know, and even then, I think a lot of Americans are really uncomfortable about telling some 19 or 20-year-old who's been here since they were six months old, uh, you know, sorry, but we're kicking you out, kicking you back to a country that you have no experience in, you know, and the whole thing. It's it's a unique uh, condition. But what to do is going to be a, uh, a, a battle. The Democrats want what they call a clean bill. They want a just a bill where that is the subject, which is ironic because they have never seen, they've never put such a thing forward without putting their own earmarks on there. And here's the deal. This is like a winning lottery ticket. You know that any bill that includes um, continuation of the this de facto amnesty called deferred action, every Democrat is going to vote for it. So you have a slam dunk on the Democrat side, and that means you only need, you know, um, a couple hundred Republicans. You can put anything you want on there. Do you want a new Air Force base in your district? Put it put it in the bill. Lawmakers were locked in a flurry of closed-door closed negotiations and meetings with top White House officials as they tried to make progress on an agreement before wrapping up their work for the year. Uh, instead, both chambers adjourned without a deal on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals uh, DACA program, kicking the fight into 2018, as we know. Uh, Senator, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, also Minority Leader Chuck Schumer from New York, uh, Paul Ryan, the Republican uh, Speaker, and Nancy Pelosi are expected to meet with White House officials tomorrow to discuss the myriad upcoming policy fights, including DACA, uh, um, up, up front. Um, President Trump has been a bit of a wild card in the immigration battle, uh, and y you know that while he talked about ending the DREAM Act, he, in fact, put off doing so. And so the proposition uh, that a, a clean bill just re-upping DACA, because that's what the Democrats want, that's not what's going to happen. And also, I guess 
Franken's gone. I mean, the, at the at the very last second, he he said January second. It is January second, but he was he didn't resign. You know, three weeks ago, he announced he was going to resign, and today he actually did resign. So there is, um, uh, well, Al Franken's gone. Not a don't worry about it. Uh, Senator Jeff Flake noted on Friday that Congress could pass a legislative fix for DACA that quote. Beef, beefs up border security, stops chain migration for the dreamers, and addresses the unfairness of the diversity lottery. Uh, close quote. So yeah, that's you could do all that. <clears throat> uh, the Democrats are going to vote for anything that kicks DACA down the road, because the Democrats actually believe, believe their own propaganda, and they believe that every single Republican uh, is just some heartless bastard, and we want every single illegal alien out of the country. And I mean, you know, the truth is. Kids who are brought here unfairly, well, not unfairly, because their parents wanted them to have a better life, um, but their parents screwed them over by doing it illegally. And so the the kids, years later, are full-functioning Americans. They want to go to college. They want to get student loans and all that. They find out they can't because, and maybe a lot of them didn't even know they were not Americans until maybe they tried to get a driver's license or a passport or, or whatever. I mean, yeah, I feel bad for them. But I'm, but I gotta tell you, they shouldn't lecture me. They should talk to their parents and say, what the hell were you thinking? There was a, a protest in LA. Um, the self-identified illegal aliens were marching down the street holding a banner that said, we will not comply. Well, you're not in compliance anyway. It's like you don't have an option. You're not in compliance. You couldn't comply if you wanted. Well, you could. Actually, you could walk back to uh, whatever country that you can walk to from here. Uh, I don't want to name names or, you know, profile, but uh, you could uh, you could certainly walk back to where you came from. So, yes, you could comply, but you'd be going back to your country. And the wall, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, the, the, the battles of the past define the present. This is Buck Sexton, and starting on January 8th, 2018, you'll be able to join me on an epic journey into history, the Shields High podcast, available on iHeartRadio. Shields High will be an exploration of the war for Western civilization, as described through gripping accounts of the most pivotal moments when the Christian world and the Islamic world came into direct conflict. Shield High will be a true journey into the fight between East and West, Cross and Crescent, Crusade and Jihad. We will dig into the truth of these histories, learn about the great heroes, martyrs, villains and traitors, and connect these legendary struggles with blood feuds and national security challenges that haunt us to this day. All the while, we will bring ourselves as close as we can to the bone-shattering charges of the front lines. Be sure to check out the Shields High podcast, and remember, it is time to awaken the iron. You don't... 2018 is not just a new year. It's also an opportunity to grow your business with top talent. But how do you find it? ZipRecruiter. One click sends your job ad to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there. Their smart matching technology will instantly alert quality candidates about your job. That means you'll start getting great candidates with the right experience almost as soon as your job is posted. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. This is how you find them. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. People from businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you better results than anywhere else. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just click the banner now or go to ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. The Dave Ramsey Show. Weekdays at 3 on the Patriot. AM 1150. If they can't run a website or even stay open, how do you think our health care? Oh, boy. This doesn't look good. The Patriots, AM 1150. Name a North Korea's leader on Twitter. I'm Lisa Lissera, Fox News. President Trump taunting Kim Jong-un after Kim said yesterday he has a nuclear button on his desk. The president tweeting his nuclear button is bigger and more powerful, and he wrote it actually works. 
Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen says she didn't see the tweet, but said... Certainly at DHS, we're doing all we can to prepare for any possible scenario that would involve the homeland, uh, whether it be for North Korea or any other nation-state or terrorist adversary. So uh, we continue to do that daily, and we do that with our state and local partners. There is no such thing as nuclear button in the U.S. The so-called nuclear football is carried around by a rotating group of military officers and travels with the president everywhere he goes. The U.S. reaffirming support for the anti-government protesters in Iran. The protests where at least 21 have been killed in their sixth day. Hours after President Trump tweeted that the U.S. is watching the ongoing anti-government demonstrations across Iran, White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders was asked whether the president is hoping for regime change in Tehran. I think the ultimate end game would be that the citizens and the people of Iran are actually given basic human rights. Sanders said the U.S. would also like to see Iran stop being a state sponsor of terrorism. President Trump is considering imposing new sanctions on Iran and decertifying the nuclear deal. Fox's John Decker at the White House, the leader of the U.N. Security Council, says the U.S. requested emergency meeting on Iran is under discussion but not yet scheduled. A Veterans Affairs document obtained by the Associated Press says the gunman who killed a Colorado sheriff's deputy escaped from the mental health ward of a VA hospital in Wyoming in 2014, but was located and returned. Matthew Ryle was shot and killed by a SWAT team. Fox News, fair and balanced. We first opened about 10 years ago. We were, we were small, just a few of us, but it was exciting. I always dreamt of having my own business. It was kind of slow at first, but things started picking up. We had big plans. But in our wildest dreams, we never, never thought we'd have this much work. Yeah, with so many businesses caught off guard by the storm, Reed Waste Management has never been busier. What will become of your business after a disaster? Nearly two-thirds of businesses aren't prepared for an emergency. And 40% of businesses that experience a disaster never recover. Make an emergency plan now, before it's too late. For a free online tool that helps you develop an emergency plan to keep your business up and running should disaster strike, visit ready.gov forward slash business. Brought to you by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the American Red Cross, and the Ad Council. Imagine walking into San Manuel Casino dressed for thrill. You find yourself in a high limit room. The dealer places two cards before you. A pair of aces. You split your aces. Time slows as you put it all on the line. Possibilities race through your mind as you feel the odds flip in your favor. The dealer reveals the final card. This is the feeling of all thrill. This is San Manuel Casino. San Manuel Casino. All thrill. Must be 21 or over gender casino. Please gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. 2018 is not just a new year. It's also an opportunity to grow your business with top talent. But how do you find it? ZipRecruiter. One click sends your job ad to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there. Their smart matching technology will instantly alert quality candidates about your job. That means you'll start getting great candidates with the right experience almost as soon as your job is posted. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. This is how you find them. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. People from businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you better results than anywhere else. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just click the banner now or go to ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. ZipRecruiter.com slash iHeart. My good friends, let me introduce you to LegacyBox.com. This is the new way to digitize all of your old home movies and photos. Here's the problem. You have old photos, film, VHS tapes. You have no idea how to preserve them and the memories they hold. Well, stop letting your precious memories get lost, or thrown out, or forgotten just because they're deteriorating in an outdated format. LegacyBox.com is a service that takes care of everything. You get a specially made Legacy Box. It's an actual box designed for you to put your old tapes and pictures and audio recordings in and you send it back. They get your legacy box in a couple of weeks. You get your originals back. 
and a perfectly preserved digital copy, either on DVD or a thumb drive. And you'll get a 40% discount when you go to LegacyBox.com slash Rush. Get 40% off your order at LegacyBox.com slash Rush. On CBS, Thursday, Fergie hosts the new singing competition, The Four, Battle for Stardom, which kicks off with a special two-hour episode at 8, 7 Central on Fox. And that's your TV tip-off on iHeartRadio. A nation trying to tax itself into prosperity is like a man standing in a bucket trying to lift himself up by the handle. The Patriot. AM 1150. This is the Patriot AM 1150, an iHeart radio station. He's back with you now, because when it comes to the fight for truth, the fuck never stops. It's hour number three of America Now. Buck Sexton is on vacation. He will be back in uh, a couple days. Brian Suits. Filling in from Los Angeles, my home base.